Hey everybody, today I will show you how to make a camera match move like a professional in Bojo 5. Let's start. First, we'll change our video to sequence in After Effects. Import your video. Make a new composition. Make sure to set the right frame rate. Right click on your video, inner bit footage, main. And make sure it's 30 frames per second. Depends on your camera settings. Composition. Add to render. Output module. JPEG sequence. Okay. And choose the output. And save. And render. Now we in Bojo. To invert our sequence, go to invert sequence. And choose your file. And open. Make sure to set the right frame rate. Then OK. First thing we need to do before start tracking is to fix the lens distortion. To get stable tracking data. And the undistorted version of our uh, video will help us later in composition stage. To undistort this footage, go to setup, assess lens distortion manual. What we need now is to find a straight object in any part of the video, okay? Maybe in here in the first frame, uh, we need something straight like uh, this uh, sidewalk, okay? Uh, now we will add a calibration line. You can uh, resize it to see better. Uh, we can add a calibration line here. This side looks supposed to be uh, straight. As you can see here in the middle, it's not straight. It's not straight enough. To fix it, Go to distortion R, okay? Here. Uh, there is two arrows up and down. Change it to uh, make it more straight. This line is just a guideline, okay? So uh, let's take it down a little bit. As you can see, it's getting more straight. I think now it's straight enough. Let's make another line. I think now it's okay. We don't need to make it like 100% uh, straight or 100% undistorted. Uh, but uh, more undistorted is more accurate, okay? So I think this is enough. Okay. Now let's track. Start tracking. If we have a moving object in the scene, like a human or a, a water, reflections, anything, you can add a body mask okay around the moving object and you can animate it it's animated automatic okay it's deleted in this footage there is no uh, moving objects okay so we don't need to make any mask so let's track Go to track features and start on the main uh, settings, okay? Start.
So now we'll go to camera solve and start. Camera solve will use these trackers to make a 3D vision. And now uh, start, okay? Just start. Or you can add the uh, optimized camera pass smoothness. It will refine your uh, uh, tracking data, okay? Start. You can uh, check it and start. Now camera solve is done. And now we have a tracking data in the 3D space. You can now show uh, the ground plane. As you can see, it's not set up. To set the ground plane, go to scene uh, geometry. Okay, X for width. Y for height, Z for depth, okay? So we'll add a coordinate uh, from hand. Uh, here we'll make this uh, X, okay? We'll choose two point as X, X is width, okay? So we can make something like this. At this point and this point. Then uh, select two uh, connect to selected okay now we will make a update as you can see uh, the grid now on the on the two points now we will set the depth okay the z axis okay so uh, show the ground plane uh, add a new uh, coordinate from hand make it z axis Choose two trackers as depths, okay? Something like this and this. Connect to selected. Update. Now this is the ground plane. Now we need to make a test, so we'll add the test object, okay? Uh, here and add test objects. Okay, you can change the object. From here, this object is fine, okay? Uh, to rotate or move uh, here, you have a scale, translate, rotate, translate to move it. Now we are on the ground, it's okay. I think it's fine, the ground is fine. Uh, let's uh, rotate it a little bit. Uh, we didn't make uh, the Y axis because it's made automatic, okay? So let's uh, start, let's uh, test it. Uh, I think it's fine. Let's stick to the ground. The ground plane is in the right place. We have a, a good track. Can I choose some trackers and uh, connect to selected as origin, okay? And you can update and uh, show ground plane. This now as the origin and the 3D software. This will this will be the origin, okay? That's it for this tutorial. Now export camera to your software. Uh, for Cinema 4D, there is Cinema 4D, okay? Here. Export type Cinema 4D and uh, make sure about uh, uh, scale that's depend on your software, okay? On the CD software and save your tracking data. Okay, now after we done uh, our tracking, uh, we need to export our JPEG sequence after distortion, okay? Because this uh, uh, sequence. Uh, we will work with it uh, to the end, even with the 3D software uh, and in the after in After Effects or Nuke, and we will add the, the uh, lens distortion back again. Okay, so now we will export export sequence and check here on lens distortion and export it as JPEG sequence. Okay, name it and save it here. Browse, save, uh, choose your place, and OK. Uh, this is very important because this tracking data is made for this sequence and it will not match the original one. OK? Uh, that's it.